Today's shooting happened about a half hour before a planned peace march through Aurora. It was organized after Monday's shooting near Aurora Central High School. Denver 7's Gary Broad is live uh, near Kenton Elementary. This is near Nome Park where that shooting happened. Uh, Gary, this rally really took on a much more urgent meaning after what happened today. Yeah, it really did. And Shannon, I want to go back to something you said earlier when you said you uh, talked to Mayor Kaufman. Well, I also talked to him earlier today over at this rally. He was actually on his way here when he passed the school shooting over at Hinkley. He didn't know what was going on. He just saw the first responders at the school. He told me all he was thinking about, though, was I hope this isn't, isn't another case of a youth shooting. It wasn't until he got to the rally here at Kenton Elementary is when he realized that his fears were, in fact, true. Now, there were a lot of passionate speakers here at this rally over at Kenton Elementary around 1 o'clock this afternoon, many calling on them to everyone to get involved in the community, but especially parents. You know, you already heard that. Uh, from uh, Chief Wilson. She said that today. She also said the kids are able to buy guns on social media. Well, one speaker at today's rally who says, says children are even building their own guns, and that's why it's important to keep up with what they are doing. Asking our kids, do any of your friends have a gun? Going through your children's bedroom looking for a gun. We know that when kids are bullied and they feel like they don't have the skills to protect themselves, they're now going out and purchasing products to build their own gun in their homes. That's called a ghost gun. Yeah, one of the organizers that said even before the Hinckley shooting, he realized the importance of this rally and just stopping that youth violence. He says, look, this is not just an issue for the police. It's not just an issue uh, for politicians in the area, but this is affecting everyone and we need to make change now. Reporting live here in Aurora, I'm Gary Broad, Denver 7. Gary, thanks for your work on this story tonight.